Okay, uh, last lecture on this chapter. So a generalization of the binomial coefficient of uh, the combination operation really is the uh, multinomial coefficients. So instead of saying how many ways can I, um, how many groups can I choose of a certain size uh, from n distinct objects, we want to know, um, we're not just going to pick one group from that n, we're going to ask how we can distribute those n distinct objects amongst r different groups, okay? So it's just a generalization. When r is 2, it is the binomial coefficient. Um, it's pretty interesting, the numbers you get here. It's interesting to think about, and um, there's a, a lot of fun you can have with this um, with probability. So how many ways can I assign n distinct objects, say, to r, r different groups of sizes n1 through nr, yep, where they add up to n. So I want to take, so the example I thought of was, say you have nine people and you want, you need, you have three jobs that have to get done. One is a two-person job, another is another two-person job, and then the third job, big job, you need five people. So you want to say, how many different uh, assignments can I make? Within each group, within each job, there's no uh, particular you know, role or, or any de delineation. There's no order in the group or anything. So it's just how can I choose... These, how many different ways can I choose these three groups? How, what do you think? Do you have a guess at the number? That's a pretty big number, right, with nine. Pretty hard to just guess that. I'm sure you could figure it out. Maybe you even know already. But um, So I think the way to think about this is, once again, we will think about this in partitions, I think, and um, then look first at all the different arrangements, which will be nine factorial of the nine different people, or whatever the distinct objects are. So um, let's write this down. Example, let's just, instead of using peep, the, the job, but you can think about this as a real example. Let's just think about um, how can we, how many ways, we'll just think of numbers. How many ways can we assign? The numbers, uh, one, two, dot, 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 up to nine, to three groups, groups one, two, and three, with um, n1 equal n2 equal two, and n three equal five. Okay, so this is a multinomial problem. Um, okay, uh, so what I propose is we could look at it like this, make all the arrangements, and we'll just consider this to be like a partition. If you fall in here, you're assigned to the first group. If you fall in here, you're assigned to the second group. And here's the big group. Okay, well, there's nine factorial of these, so nine factorial total arrangements. You know, if we keep going. But a lot of them are going to be the same. Uh, they're gonna be the same group, right? So here's an example. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is one possible assignment. But you can see just this alone, there's 120 ways to arrange these. So that won't give me anything different. So if I do this one, these are the same, right? These are the same. So there's actually 120 ways to arrange these, two and two. So there should be uh, 480 different arrangements for any single uh, assignment. So let's write this down. There are 
2 factorial, 2 factorial, 5 factorial equal 480 arrangements. 4 each um, assignment. So therefore, if we divide, sorry, therefore, if we divide the total number of arrangements by 480, we should get the, um, the number of uh, assignments. So, so divide total arrangements, permutations, number of arrangements per assignment and then the assignment will come up to up top right assign I can't spell mint okay okay and this should give me um, nine factorial over uh, 5 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, and this is, I just did this, it's 756. Seven hundred and fifty-six different assignments. Okay, I guess it is. Um, that's what I get. Is it? Yeah, okay, I think so, yep. All right, so um, let's just check now. Suppose I have an example two. Suppose we want, um, let's say, uh, let's say R is two. R is two, then that implies that N1 plus N2 equals N, or even n2 equals n minus n1. So that um, really I am uh, picking, I am just, if I, if I want to decide how to place all the distinct objects in one of two buckets, that's just the same way as saying how many ways can I choose n1 or how many ways can I choose n2. So this is the same as uh, n choose n1, which is also equal to n choose n minus n1, which is equal to n choose n2. So they're the same. You'll get the same thing with two. And this is um, the bi this is the same as the binomial. So um, yeah, so just one more thing. Uh, the, the general formula follows from the example then. So, so we have... Uh, the multinomial coefficient which gives this number which is equal to number total assignments of n distinct objects to uh, r groups of sizes and one and two and r where and one plus n two plus dot 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 plus n r equals n is written like this and and down here i have to put all of them because i don't know that you know if i have more than two i don't know so i just list them all down here like this and the formula and the formula is pretty much what you guessed. It's just like the Mississippi problem, right? We arranged things, and then we divide out by the number of arrangements within each group. So it should be n factorial, and it is n factorial over n1 factorial n2 factorial. Okay, that's called the multinomial coefficient. Okay, thanks. Next chapter two.